What's happening? You got the rest of your game here. Be coming in here with another game review. Just coming off a great Halloween night. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. I love the fall season. I always watch the movie Halloween, so I figured why not give the game that came out on Atari, 600, Atari 2600 many years ago a little more solid review. A few years back, I did a three-part series on horror movie games that were part of my collection, and I believe I showed a bit of that one there, but I thought, you know, why not give a little bit of a deeper dive on not only Halloween, but Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which also came out at the same time by the same company for the Atari 2600. So to do that, I had to first break out the uh, best retro console I think ever made, and that was, of course, the ColecoVision. But it's Atari 2600, so we had to then break out the expansion module one, which is an expansion that allows you to play 2600 games. I'm sure a lot of you knew that, but it's one of the reasons why a click is so great so stay tuned to my channel as i'll probably deep not deep dive but go through a lot of my click vision games because click vision's hooked up let's look at all the games there and give it a better review but today we're talking about halloween and double feature texas chainsaw massacre and the main reason why we're doing that is because when i purchased this i purchased it as a reproduction that came in a case like this very nice i found it on facebook marketplace about five or six years ago the reproduction manuals that are really well done. And then of course, it came on a double ender game. So I figured why not look at both Halloween and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I have no idea. I can't remember who made that. I don't see any markings on it of, of on the manuals of who the maker was. Um, when I did a little bit of research about these games um, on the internet, I really didn't find a lot about who made the double ender reproduction other than other people have it. So if anybody out there happens to know, throw it in the comments. I'd really be curious to see um, who made this game. Uh, as I just found on Facebook Marketplace, like I said, about two or three or four years ago or something like that, and picked it up. It was released on the Atari 2600 in 1983, so that put it a good five years after the release of the film, which is 1978. I actually saw that film in the theater as a five-year-old boy, along with his family. My family was a huge horror movie fan club, so I saw a lot of horror movies as a kid on the old VHS. I never saw this game, or Texas Chainsaw Massacre for that matter. I'd have been about 10 years old when that came out. Um, so it was kind of neat to see it. At the time, uh, it was a bit controversial for its gore, which it's Atari, so how gory can it be? But for the time, you know, it was kind of behind the counter, apparently, or didn't sell very well. I knew that because I knew at conventions I'd heard um, what turned out to probably be fact because the Internet backed it up, so it must be true, that you might come across a copy of a blank cart that just has a sticker or a Sharpie and says Halloween on it. And this is what they actually did back then to save costs as the company who made it, Wizard, was going out of business. This was the only video games they made. They were, you know, didn't work out. So they just label slapped them with Halloween on the marker and put them out to the market. So you may come across one. That's the case. It's a pretty rare game for the Atari 2600, both it and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I can't remember. I, I think I paid around 85 or 100 bucks for this about five or six years ago um, when I came across it. Probably not more than 100 I generally don't do that for games unless I really want them. Um, but it was super cool. Repro, the box looks great. And, and, you know, the games seem to play probably how they did back then. I never played them back then. But we'll get a glimpse at it here of my low-resolution setup. And you can see uh, what, it, what it looks like. So without further ado, let's fire it up. And uh, we'll give you a first shot at Halloween. Um, it's a fun game. I think they did a good job of capturing the ga the uh, music the best they could. You'll see you kind of run around as a babysitter, avoiding Michael. You find the kids on the bottom, and you drag them across the screen by holding on your button to a safe room and you do that over and over and then Michael eventually gets faster and chases you more. You can pick up a knife to kill Michael or you can rescue the kids to progress the level. You can go through doors as a blackout level. And the coolest kind of thing, and you probably won't see it on my TV very well and my setup, is there's little jack-o'-lanterns at the very top. They're kind of like your life bars and stuff. But overall, you know, for Atari 2600, pretty good game. So let's kill the lights and we'll fire that up. Not bad for the theme music, right?
And there you are, Lower East Road at the bottom. There's a kid and there's Michael. Now a doorway should take you down to a different level, but sometimes they just change levels on you. Little blackout screens. And I will just show you the gore. I don't like to have my videos be too long. I was gonna try to show you how to drag a kid. This is a safe room on one end of the building. You hover over the kid, push the button, the kid follows you, but we'll let Michael kill it so you can see. Oh no, he didn't, I thought he would. Oh. And you saved one kid. Now watch when Michael kills Lori Strode, she's gonna get her head chopped off and run around like a chicken. And you got Mr. Pumpkin. So overall, not a bad game in my opinion for Atari 2600. Let's switch over to Chainsaw Massacre, which not a very good game. This one, uh, there's not a lot of good things to say about it. You run around the chainsaw that is attached to his um, penis area. It's blue. You try to chainsaw down people while you have fuel burning and avoid obstacles. And uh, the sound is horrible. And it's just not very good. Oh, and the screech. You'll see. That's Leatherface. Not a bad face, actually, if you look at the big old mask. You rev it up. That's your chainsaw. You got fuel at the top. Yeah, that's the girl. And they magically teleport when you get near them. So how she jumps around. And that's what they look like when you kill them. That's all you do. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yep, there's the sound. So there you have it, a couple of, uh, you know, classic or expensive Atari 2600 games. Halloween being a classic, it's a classic film. I've seen all of the original film series, um, but I haven't seen Halloween 3. I really need to. I've heard that's a good one to uh, take a look at because it's just a good film on its own, even if it doesn't follow the storyline. But I've seen 4, 5, 6. I haven't seen the new ones yet, but, you know, one day I'll pop it out. But every year, Halloween goes in the old VHS player, and we watch it, whether it's with family or just me. And there's a review of the two Halloween games. If you know anything more about that double under, please put it in the comments. I'd like to learn a little bit more about it. I don't do a lot of internet research. I'm pretty low key. But I'd love to hear if you've heard of it or what you have to say about it. And also, if you like ColecoVision and I've got it hooked up, I think I'm going to start going through my ColecoVision collection and talk about some of the games for it. Because like I said earlier in this video, ColecoVision to me is the best console of the old lines and even even better than nintendo for me for nostalgia reasons but um overall for uh you know just playability and its function and everything so you got the retro gaming hippie and remember i don't buy nostalgia because i am nostalgia